Hello and welcome to Papa Sue Creative. Today I want to show you how you can make a digi stamp, draw it and cut it on SCAL 2.011. I was contacted a week or so ago by a new company, Crickets, who have a gel pen that they say will do wonderful things much easier, much less expensive than the ones that are currently available. I'd had a lot of problems with gel pens in the past and had about given up and I wanted to do some very detailed drawings so I said I would give it a try. So they sent them to me and it just happened that the new version 2.011 of SCAL for Mac came out and I thought well let's just try it all in SCAL. Let's take a look at how beautiful this turned out. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this owl and how good a detail I got and that this white space around is the cutting mat that I cut around it to get it out of the uh, the cricket. So um, what I'm going to show you is probably pretty much you know how to do all of these things. Maybe you didn't think about putting them together in just this way. So let's get started. This is uh, SCAL, and I found an image on the internet, a nice coloring book image that I wanted to use. I brought it in to my computer and just brought it into SCAL the way you do any image to trace. So there it is. It's very detailed. You wouldn't even consider cutting this on the Cricut. Uh, you want to, at this point, get your image about the size you want to cut. I'm going to make mine a little larger so you can see it and get it in the middle of my page. I went to Path Object break apart and the dreaded double line that we've all hated now is to my benefit and I broke apart and now I have what will be the cut file. Go back to the print file be sure you do this now because to do it you'll forget if you don't. Select all around it and do an object group <coughs> so they stay together. Now you want to size this one around that one so we're going to use shadow blackout. These, these are new layers, new things that you can do now that you couldn't do before which are different object, different options for the shadow. So I'm going to use shadow pointy and I found that one inch which was the default wasn't good enough for what I wanted so I took it up to one and a half inches and I went back and I moved it over and placed it right around my image and that looked good. Now I need this cut layer separated so I'll be able to both draw and then cut. So I'm going to edit, cut that layer, go to a new layer, and paste it. And it wonks. So you want to line it up. First let me show you something. See these? Those are going to cut and I don't want them so I'm going to go to the node tool and I'm going to delete those because I don't want those to cut.
move it back over exactly where I want it. Plenty of room around. I always test my layers. Uh, this layer is the matte layer. I turn it off and yes there's my image. Turn it back on, go up to the owl layer, turn it off. Yes, that yep, works. Okay, now we're ready to prepare the paper and the expressions or any pre-cut you have to do the cutting. First I tried to cut and then print and then I did a print and then cut. And I found the print first, cut second worked best for me. So we're going to turn off layer one. Now you want to get your pens and these pens are very very fine and they come with their own carrier and the benefit of uh, the Cricut's gel pens are that when you slide the pen into the carrier there's a magnet there that grabs a hold of it. And that means then that you don't have to take off the cap, shove it in, have all this ink on your hands and hope it stays. These just went in perfectly. They loaded into my machine very easily. The instructions are good. So I set the pressure at high. The instructions say medium, but I went for high. And I loaded in the machine and I did cut, which was draw. At the end of the drawing, the carriage is going to be down toward the bottom so it's very easy for you to open the machine, gently remove the pen and reinstall your blade. Once you do that then you want to uh, reload the paper. I did it on the Cricut with uh, reload last. I think there are other ways to do that but that one worked. Turn off the owl, turn on the mat and cut. I got an absolutely beautiful design. I'm really really happy with these pens and you want to go and visit Cricut's Dot com. That's C-R-I-K-I-T-S dot com. And I think you're going to be really, really happy. Uh, with what you get, I am. Please come by my blog at papasucreative.blogspot.com. I'll have a link to the owl. Uh, and some more information about how I did this. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.